Hi there, I'm Jennifer. I'm the owner of Auburn Yoga and Pilates, and tonight we are going to be doing a bar class. So, chances are you do not have a ballet bar at your home. A chair will work, grab a chair. And if you have light hand weights, if not, you can grab canned goods or water bottles or anything along those lines that'll work for you. Okay, we'll get started. Okay, so. Coming into a wide stance, you want to turn out your toes and your knees. You want your knees to basically follow the direction of that second toe. And inhaling up, exhaling down. Some big, wide plies. You want to try to keep your spine vertical. So sometimes it's tempting to throw your hips back Try to avoid that temptation and try to keep the hips right under the shoulders. And now we'll hold it down and pulse for three. Three, two, one, and come up. Three, two, one, come up. Three, two, one. So you can make your plie larger than mine, smaller than mine. It's very customizable. Two more. And the next time we're gonna add on a right tap. So three, two, one, tap. Three, two, one, tap. Three, two, one, tap. Three, two, one, tap. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now this time, one plie, one tap. Plie, tap, plie, tap, plie, tap. And back to big plies. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more. Hold those arms parallel to the floor. Plie, lift, plie, lift. So just a little lift to the side. Kind of feel like a sumo wrestler, not ballerina. <laughs> Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take those heels in and relevant heels together. So you're lifting those heels. You can lift them a little or a lot. You don't have to hold on, just an option. Now, narrow plies. Releve. So maybe the heels separate. Try to keep them glued together if you can. And plie.
Last one, holding it up. And again, hold on or don't hold on. Engage your gluteus medius so that your hip joint stays over your ankle. Ideally, feet are turned out, heels are together, first position or Pilates stance. Coming into a passe, lift. So basically, it's like you're sliding the foot up right alongside the leg. Two more. Now I'm just going to turn to the side so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do that passe that we just did for two counts. But then we're going to extend the leg back in an arrow disc. So from here, it's up, up, back, back, in and down. Up, up. So up, up, back, back, in, down. Up, up, back, back, in, and down. So obviously, I'm demonstrating holding on to your chair, but you do not have to hold on to your chair. Back, back, in, come down. Up, up, back, back, in, and down. You're probably realizing that the supporting leg is getting more fatigued than the moving leg. It's working hard to keep you still. In, and down, and again. Up, up, back, back, in, and down. Now from here, holding that leg up, you don't want to jam into the knee. You want to try to just be a light touch. Hinge. Hinge. Hold the leg back, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, in and out. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, pulse back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and again, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now that's a sensation. Whew, okay. So, shaking it up and moving to the other side. So again, engage that gluteus medius, that supporting leg is working nice and hard, and lift. Eight more. And last one. And again, you can stay forward facing. You can place one hand on your chair, no hands on your chair, or you can turn to face your chair. And feet are turned out and up, up, back, back, in, come down. Up, up, back, back, in, come down. Up, up, back, back, in, come down.
and four more. Up, up, back, back, in, come down. Two more. And last one. And dropping it down. Now from here, coming up, hinging at that hip, forward and out. These never get easier, <laughs> never. Hold it out, pulse. And in and back, in and back. Hold it back, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, now pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, and again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Dropping it down. Ooh. Again, a sensation. Okay, moving back to side one. Oops. I saw it going, but I couldn't catch it in time. Okay, starting off with some tendus. I think I'll just leave it on the floor. <laughs> we'll do some brushes, front, side, back, side. Front, side, back, side. So you can simply leave your arm still, whether it be to the front, or to the side, or you can move it. We're not serious ballerinas when we do bar. One more time. And hold it here. Now, from here, we're going to do a passe with a sort of front développé. Because again, we're doing our best ballerina impersonation. So, we're going to slide that foot up the leg and extend that leg forward with a lot of control in your torso. Take it back in and down. So slide it up, extend, in and down. Up, extend, in and down. Now ideally, your extension is long and maybe higher than mine. Two more. And last one. Dropping it down and then switching over to the other side. So coming into those tendus, front side, back side. Starting with those heels together, those toes turned out. Front, side, back, side, keep going. Again, gluteus medius on that opposite side is engaged.
last around the world. And from here, uh, sliding that foot up the front of the leg and then extending that leg. So up, extend, in and down. Up, extend. If you're actually doing this, you'll know that these are a lot harder than they look. Trying to keep that torso still and extend that leg, it can be a feat. Four. Three. Two. And last one. And dropping it down and grabbing both of those weights or whatever you have that you are using as weights. You want something fairly light. Most people will be happy using somewhere between one to three pounds. And then taking those toes and knees wide and coming into little plies or, you know, squats if you're not a ballerina with a little bicep curl. Again, trying to keep that spine fairly vertical. Now this time, hold it down and lift right, left. Oh, I believe my heels are moving opposite you, so let me fix them. Right, left, right, left. coming up and from here coming back down into the bottom of that plie so you can make it big or you can keep it fairly small like I am toes and knees both turned out arms are out and it's like you're hugging the tray Now let's see if opposite heel and arm can move. Right heel, left heel, right, left. A little test of coordination. Four more, three more, two, one, both arms together. Three more, two, opposite arm and foot, heel up, right, left. Four more, four, three, two, one, Whew, taking it in. Okay, so again, you can make these as deep or as not deep as you'd like. And bringing those heels together. And now taking those arms and starting them at the bottom, we're gonna cross left hand over right and right hand over left. So little scissors, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. 
down. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down. If you trust really heavy weights, I'm willing to bet you may be regretting it. Up. Down. Up again, zipping up those legs while you're here. Down. Up. Down. And release. And taking those legs out again. And just keeping those arms down temporarily, doing just a few little plies. With the shoulders a rest, we'll continue with some shoulder work. This time, hold the bottom of your plie. Arms come out parallel to the floor. Circle, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse. And dropping those arms and taking it down and up. And holding your bottom of the plie, arms come out, circle, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse. And dropping it down. And placing those weights to the side. So, we're making this sort of an express bar rather than going a whole hour. We'll go somewhere around 40 minutes or so. We are at 25, so we are definitely getting there. Okay, coming back, you're probably going to want to stand side facing your chair, and we're going to do a little combo. We'll do it slowly, and we've seen some of this before. So it's going to start with an around the world. We're going to go front, side, back, side. Now from here, we're going to come into that passe to the front, extend that leg, come back, drop those heels together, releve, come down, come out, three, two, one, reach away. Three, two, one, reach and slide it in. No problem, right? It's much easier than it seems. Okay, so let's do it again at about that same pace. And we're not really going to go that much quicker, even when we put it all together. So from here around the world, it's front, side, back, Little passe up the front of the leg, extend, drop it down, heels down, releve, come down, three, two, one, reach, three, two, one, slide it in. Try to get a nice lateral stretch if you can. Once you get the movement going, you can exaggerate. If I don't exaggerate, you feel free to exaggerate. I want to make sure that hopefully we don't mess up the sequence. So, okay, here we go around the world. Front, side, back, side, up, extend, in, down, 
releve, come up. Three, two, one, and reach. Three, two, one, and reach, and front. Side, back, side, up. Extend, in, down, releve, come up. Three, two, one, and reach. Three, two, one, and reach around the world. Front, side, back, side, up. Extend, in, down, releve, come up. Three, two, one, and reach. Three, two, one, and reach again. Front, side, back, side, up, extend, in, down, releve, come down, come. Three, two, one, and reach. Three, two, one, and reach. Take it front, side, back, side, slide it up, extend, in, down, releve, come out, three, two, one, and reach, three, two, one, and reach, two more, front, side, back, side, up, extend, in, down, releve, step out, three, two, one, and reach, three, two, one, and reach, last one, front, side, back, side, up, extend, in, down, releve, step out, three, two, one, reach, three, two, one, reach. Side two, here we go. Okay, so starting off with that around the world. So, front, side, back, side, slide it up the leg, up, out, in, down, releve, step out, three, two, one, three, two, one, and again, same pace, front, side, back, side, up, out, in, down, lift, step out, three, two, one, three, two, one. So, trying to make it just a little bit more fluid now, whenever you're ready. Front, side, back, side, slide it up, forward, in, down, lift up, step up. Three, two, one, reach. Three, two, one, reach. Again, front, side, back, side, up, out, in, down, lift up, come out. Three, two, one, Reach, three, two, one, reach, and again, front, side, back, side, up, out, in, down, releve, step out, three, two, one, and reach, three, two, one, and reach, and three more. Up, out, 
in, down, lift, drop, three, two, one. Three, two, step in. Again, front, side, back, side, up, out, in, down, lift up, drop down, three, two, one, and reach, three, two, one, one more time, three, two, one, and take it up, out, in, down, lift up, drop down, three, two, one, three, two, one, and taking it in, and we are just about 33 minutes in, so we'll actually take this time to stretch, so good, good job, we got over half an hour of bar in, so you can take your hands to the back of your chair. You can take your hands to the seat of your chair. Try to lengthen your spine. You want your heels under your hips and you want to keep a micro bend in that knee more if you need to. and coming up. And again, depending on the height of your chair, you're going to want to take your hands to the seat of your chair or to the back of your chair. Make it so that you're a little bit bent over. If your chair is lower, you'll be bent over even more than this, which would be ideal. Scoop, lifting your abdominals up towards your spine, and either lengthening or fully expel extending more. So you can come into straight or straightish, or you can go into a little back bend. Strings, drop your hands to your chair, not to the floor. And then inhaling, lengthening that spine, exhaling, holding forward, inhale, sweeping those arms up, exhaling those arms down. Taking that right leg in front of your left leg. Again, I'm remembering to mirror you this time. And then sweep that left arm up. You don't have to hold on to the wall or a chair, but you can for extra stability. Keep your shoulders and ribs squared to the front of the room and try to find a lateral stretch. And coming up, dropping down, and switching those legs. So again, you do not have to hold on to a wall or your chair, but you can, if you'd like, taking that right arm, reaching it up, and stretching it over. I'll pretend. <laughs> Again, trying to keep your shoulders and your ribs squared to the front of the room.
and coming up, drop down, and once again, right foot crosses in front of left. Now modified, don't cross your legs, just keep them side by side. Or you can cross one in front of the other. Inhale those arms up, exhale the hands down to a chair or to the floor. And inhale the spine long, exhale down, inhale, come up. Exhale those arms down and switch. Oops, take that opposite leg in front. And again, you're narrowing your base. It's a little more challenging. It's a little deeper stretch. Do what you can. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale. Sweep those arms down. Inhale long, exhale fold, inhale up, and exhale those arms down. Now, grabbing um. If you're on a carpet, you won't need to grab anything. But um, if you are on hardwood or concrete or any hard surface, you'll want either a mat or a blanket or something underneath your knees. So from here, we're going to step our right foot forward. Now, what we're going to try to do, and it'll be ideal if you have some sort of block or book or something that you can use, but you don't necessarily need one. We're going to come down and you can place your hands on the inside of your foot. It's okay if that front knee bows out to the side a little because that front leg isn't super weight bearing here. You want to try to get a stretch through the front of your hip and down through your quadriceps. Some of you will get it up here, some of you will want to drop your forearms lower, maybe even to the floor, but don't overdo. You want to feel a deep stretch, but not an overwhelming stretch. And then coming up and Sliding that leg back and taking your opposite leg forward. And again, front knee over front ankle and let yourself sink into your hips. Try and stretch through the front of that hip. If you can, both hands to the inside of the foot. Feel free to drop down onto your forearms if that position feels more beneficial to you. And then coming up, and taking that leg back. And then from here, coming into a few kneeling cat and cows. And then taking that leg, stepping it forward, stepping the other leg forward, inhaling, heart forward, head forward, exhaling, fold forward, inhale, sweep those arms up, exhale those arms down. Thanks for joining us. 
I hope that you enjoyed it. And um, Sarah will be back tomorrow night with uh, Flow Yoga. So be sure to join her too. Take care.